Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be looking at Detroit Become Human. So this interesting title actually used to be a console ex exclusive, specifically PlayStation 4 console exclusive. Now it's been ported over to the PC and end of the day actually... The Thank you, Chloe or whoever you are. And surprisingly enough, when it was ported over, there was very interesting requirements when it comes to the graphics. Now, first and foremost, the minimum requirements was for GTX 780 or AMD HD 7950 with 3GB of video memory. The recommended requirements for this game, however, was 1060 or RX 580 with 4 or more gigabytes of video memory. So, here's the thing. Overall, this game is beautiful when it uh, comes to graphical fidelity. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the impossible and we're gonna max it out in 4K with 1080 Ti and see what happens. I kind of know what happens and honestly, I'm not impressed. But here's the catch. Ever since this game came from the PlayStation, it was frame locked to 30 frames. It does give you an option to select between 30 and 60. And in some places you can actually reach 60, but mostly it's going to be 45 to 50. So let's go through some settings, take a peek. So frame limit is 60, vertical sync is off, uh, fidelity sharpening is off because 4K. Uh, visual quality is custom, there's a reason for it. So texture quality, ultra, 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 ultra high, motion blurs off. This is what creates the custom stuff. Volumetric lightning, ambient occlusion and bloom. And Bloom is not the same as Motion Blur, don't uh, confuse those two things. And this is what we're gonna use. So obviously the 1080 Ti is an 11 gigabyte card, but the processing power required is a bit more... Have been saved. Thank you. Also, you will kind of get annoyed by her. Anyway, we're gonna start a new story and see how it all goes, because I must say the opening sequence is the best one. So let's roll. Also, MSI metrics, upper left corner. Just for your, well, information, I guess. Let's take a peek. So as you can see, even well, when standing here, we can see the Vulkan API, which, uh, to be honest, a lot of games actually support, starting from uh, Doom Eternal, ending with uh, Ubisoft's Breakpoint. It uh, kind of doesn't really give us the 60. The game itself looks beautiful. Like, as much as I would like to nitpick this game for the graphical fidelity, it does look fantastic. Like, all these reflections, they are literally lifelike. Also, in comparison to controller, you are using your mouse, which you need to hold and move, which is uh, kind of an interesting mechanic. So if you are playing this on a controller first and then going to the PC, prepare to be very, very surprised about this mechanic, as it does kind of, you know, make it a bit weird. Nevertheless, so what we are using is 5 gigabytes of video memory, 7 of the actual system one. And one of my CPUs is doing almost nothing, surprisingly. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait, you're sending an android? All right, ma'am, you, you need to go. You can't do that. You, why aren't you sending a real person? So let's go take a look at the house. Don't 
Captain Allen. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Okay, so we need to understand what happens, save hostage at all costs. So as you can see, the frames are quite low, but it uh, doesn't mean it's bad. Let's find a gun here. Three five five. Well, I would uh, kind of ex expect a bit more of nine mil, but hey, it's future, right? Black Hawk. Wants me to reconstruct. Come on. go yeah I figured it out he took the gun and we're increasing our chances of maybe saving this poor Android we shall be going in here because this is apparently the daughter's room are we gonna look at her search history? Okay, we're not gonna do that, obviously. She's, she's a teenage girl, what do you expect to find her? So this game itself relies on you gathering the clues. The more clues you're gonna gather, the more understanding and more options you will unlock. So you kinda need to explore first and then you can go and uh, think about things later. I'm gonna, again, double check if we actually are not missing anything. And then we're gonna go. So the camera work is a bit uh, weird when it comes to it, but uh, you kind of get a gist of it. Let's go and take a look at the deceased person. Wow, that has some serious damage here. No, the negotiator is still looking at the crime scene and this guy has got this very bad. It's a police officer! Wow! Imagine this. Imagine if you or Alexa was doing this. Okay, we have a little bit of other things here. Reconstructing complete. We're missing something, boys. We found a gun. So that is his gun. Great. And I think we've done it. So we can go and find the gun now so we can defend ourselves. Which is also an option, but... Uh, I don't think that is the peaceful option here. Let's 
It's a nice thing these uh, androids come at uh, with a holster. have something else someone was cooking pot I mean <clears throat> there was cooking with a pot family was about to have dinner okay we have a lot of things to unpack here let's go for the sitting area it looks like there might be some shit going down here have no fear oh wow this guy has got it bad Well, that kind of means bleeding, but hey ho. Looks like about right. Oh, there was holding something. We have an object somewhere. We have found a tablet. Yeah, I think we're good here. So the moment the line actually turns blue, that means you've uh, actually discovered something useful. I hope there's no... Oh, wow! So we have a motive. He was about to be replaced. Imagine if your brake pads were killing you because you are thinking about replacing them. Kind of puts things into perspective, right? Oh, 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 we have something else. I think it's gonna be Skyrim on a fridge. Hey, why, why are you sneaking around the... <laughs> Jeez, that, that, that bad. So, I think... Wow, tasty I guess. Blue blood. Fresh blue blood. Basically we just tasted his transmission fluid. Okay, let's go. See what's gonna happen. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Go, go, go! Hi, Daniel! Uh, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Daniel, there's a problem with your software. We're going to fix you, and everything will be okay. I don't need to be fixed. I'm working perfectly. But my eyes are open now. I will never let anyone humiliate me again. 
Ever! I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. I can't stand that noise anymore! And tell that helicopter to get out of here! Trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. We're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. to me, Connor. You lied to me. So this is basically how the game plays out, so you need to be very careful with your choices. Every choice will have consequences. It's not like, you know, there's some fake choices. Literally, whatever you choose gonna make different things. So after you fail a mission or you succeed, you can see all the possible flowcharts, how this game is made, or at least the story for this certain scene. There are multiple scenes in this game. Uh, you can also lose the character, for good or worse. Really depends. And every choice you make will kind of bite you in the ass later down the road. I wouldn't say that uh, you need to be too careful. This game clearly has replay value. You can experiment with different, uh, you know, options, different approaches, uh, different in interrogation stuff. And obviously, as you can see, so we actually didn't use or we didn't have even unlocked three more options apart from lying. So if we actually chose to tell him the truth, it might go that he actually jumps off or shoots us instead. Or anything else, even if it's uh, about uh, dismissing the helicopter. As you can see, there's a complete different flowchart with some additional thing in between. So overall, uh, when it comes to performance, as you saw, so the frame rate is jumping up and down. There is an option to lock your frame rate to 30 or 60. And if you want to play it on let's say 4K with 1080 Ti, I would kind of highly suggest you to actually switch it to 30 because this is not exactly your very fast paced uh, first person shooter so you don't need this 60, it's more about story driven choice based gameplay where you can take it slow, it still looks amazing, it looks stunning and hey you're playing a console title so if you remember the amazing experience from Horizon Zero Dawn that uh, literally launched what a year and a half ago and it was absolute disaster until they patched it. Now, Detroit Become Human is not going to be patched. It's been patched all the way up until, well, the point we currently have it here. So, yeah, this is uh, basically how it's going to go.
So let's just hit continue and we're gonna see the next chapter and go from there. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' work. Elementary school. But good afternoon. Hi. Can I help? Wow. Please. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two year warranty for parts and labor. Painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches to surveillance mode. It contacts emergency services if there's a break in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. I don't like this guy. There it is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. I think that's enough. Here, let me help you. Oh, oh, thank you, dear. So here, let me just uh, switch us over to 30 frames, uh, just so you guys can actually see how it looks like, and I think you will you will understand that. It's not, it's not exactly bad or worse, like, you know, end, end of the day, this game looks fantastic either way. It does look very nice. No, we cannot go there. So if we just uh, take a little peek. So obviously with the keyboard and mouse you will get a bit more 
quicker looking than if you would uh, do it with the controller. Really depends if you set the controller sensitivity up. But overall, as you can see, the GPU usage has dropped significantly because we are limiting the power the GPU can put into this. Now, I wouldn't say that you would ever feel any stutters or something like that, so end of the day, why worry? Just enjoy the story, play through this, and you know, you might actually succeed. Yeah, the keyboard is uh, a bit weird. As you can see, it kind of wants to turn on a spot, but uh, oh well. So you can see all those reflections, they're not going to dip your frames. So, you know, end of the day. This is not bad at all. Of course, if you want the 60 frames all the way, I would say just uh, kick down the resolution to full HD and enjoy 60 plus at all times. But again, for very good storytelling, you don't need 60 frames. Let's be honest, guys, okay? It's like, what, you wouldn't read the book if it didn't give you 60 frames? Of course you would. All the movies we see in cinema, by the way, is going at 23.4 frames. And I don't see people complaining. But hey, you know, gaming is gaming. Oh, shoes. Anyway, this is all I wanted to show you guys, so you can have an educated guess of how to get things and what to do with things. So, I hope this will actually help you a bit more. And on this, I'm gonna end this. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Over and out.